And in a bid to bolster Harris, a group of eminent Indian Americans uh, has launched a grassroots campaign in key battleground states. Now, this campaign, which was launched on Tuesday, it aims at ensuring that the presidential elections make history by electing Harris as the first person of Indian heritage to lead the United States. Now, with a significant Indian population in the United States that can decide the course of these polls, we try to decode the influence of Indian Americans that can have on these elections. My colleague Vishal Vivek, he gets us this report. Ever since Joe Biden bowed out of the presidential race, Kamala Harris has consolidated the Democratic Party ticket, gaining ground across the country. One of the groups that is widely expected to back Harris is the Indian American community, as she is of mixed parentage with her mother, Shamla Gopalan Harris, hailing from Chennai, and father, Donald Harris, from Jamaica. In a bid to bolster Harris, a group of eminent Indian Americans has launched a grassroots campaign in key battleground states. The campaign, launched on Tuesday, is named Indian Americans for Harris. Its aim, to make Harris the first person of Indian heritage to lead the U.S. The campaign plans to mobilize Indian Americans in the swing states to come out and vote for Harris. There are several ways through which Indian Americans can impact the upcoming election. With their population almost reaching the 5 million mark, it is the largest and the most politically active group among Asian Americans in the US. Out of the 5 million, more than 2 million are eligible voters, according to a survey. It is also one of the most successful immigrant groups in the country. Among Asian Americans, Indians are the wealthiest and most highly educated. Other than Kamala Harris, several other Indian Americans such as Vivek Ramaswamy and Nikki Haley have made a dent in US politics. Keeping the potential of Indian Americans in mind, another campaign has been launched by non-profit institution Foundation for India and Indian Diaspora Studies to increase participation of the group in polls. However, there are some warning signs as well. A survey says that the number of Indians who identified as Democrats slipped from 54% in 2020 to 47%. In the same time frame, those who identify as Republicans rose from 16 to 21%. With Vishal Vivek, Bureau Report, NDTV World. Now, how crucial is the Indian diaspora going to be in deciding the elections uh, uh, there in the U.S.? We'll try and get a sense of that. In fact, we are joined by Bianca Shah uh, from the South Asians for Harris Group. Uh, Bianca, welcome to NDTV. My first uh, question to you is, how does this campaign plan to target battleground voters? Because many Republican strongholds are there. How, and uh, uh, this is what I try to try and understand. How do you think uh, this is going to target uh, the battleground voters there? Yes, definitely. Great question. As you know, they are the important people in this election. We need to make sure that we're reaching them door to door. So we're going door to door knocking, providing them literature with what their policies mean for their individual and everyday lives. So it's not about the speeches and the rallies. That is important, but it's more important to make these policies relate to how they do everyday life. So, you know, whether it's their children and their schools or their work and their taxes, we need to make sure they understand that this is going to impact everyday life and it's not just abstract concept so they actually need to vote in favor of who is going to make their life better